So I've already finished my recording. You're gonna notice some bumps. I keep bumping my desk. You're gonna hear some thumps. I, I hear them all and I hate them when I'm going through the editing portion. So I, I'm really trying to train myself, stop bumping my desk. Look, all I did was just tap my desk and you can just hear boom. Anyway, I apologize. I'm trying to get it perfect. Enjoy. Well, folks, I think we have completed step one on the rap journey. Um, this will be a pretty short video, which short for me is probably like six minutes because I just love running my mouth. <laughs> um, but I finally took the time to listen to the rest of the Goblin album, start to finish, Tyler the Creator. Um, initially, I was really enjoying it. You know, it kicks off with Goblin, which is a great first track. Um, Yonkers, already knew that one from doing the video. Radicals was kind of a neat song. And then She, which is another one you guys recommended. You know, all the way through Tron Cat. Her, it kind of starts to, I don't want to say slow down, but it, it kind of started to waver a little bit. Her kind of just seemed like a, a rehash off of She. And then when it got into like sandwiches and fish, analog, BSD, I really started to lose interest because it felt like those four tracks really kind of to deviate away from the story that was Goblin and Tyler, you know, trying to work his inner demons and, you know, talking with the therapist and all these different characters that were kind of bouncing around in his mind. Um, but then when he gets back into Window, seems to get back on track. And then Golden, I feel like is a good wrap up for the album. Now on my Spotify list, it has these three other tracks. I don't really know if these are extra tracks, if they're considered part of the core album or not. They kind of seem to be tacked on at the end with it coming in after Golden. Um, so I don't know. Overall, I, I think Goblin, it, it, to me, here, here's the thing. I don't, because I don't really want to shit on, on bad music or, or call music bad. Um, you know, I, I appreciate the effort people put into trying to make stuff. And so... I've, I've never really been a big fan of critics. It feels like it's really easy to criticize things. Um, so if I have stuff I don't enjoy, what I do is I just don't really listen to it. So I, if I were to redo Goblin, what I would do is I would get rid of probably tracks 8 through 12. Her, Sandwiches, Fish, Analog, BSD. I feel like if you take that, that like mid-section and just drop it completely, the whole album with it then being 10 tracks would be really, really strong, really strong. Um, and it's not really to take anything away from those tracks. I just feel like those songs don't add to the Goblin album, the theme of Tyler and these different characters in his head and him just kind of wrestling with, you know, the music industry, with fame. Um, you know, a lot of the songs have a mention of his father not being there, um, him having money, just... All that shit. Um, so anyway, that's kind of my take on the album as a whole. My favorite song, Tron Cat. I love Tron Cat. I think Tron Cat is the best one. Um, it's got a cool, it's got a cool theme. I like the you know the la la la. I like the beat to it. Uh, there's some great fucking lyrics. <laughs> the thing about looking young enough for the priest for so that they'll come flirt with him. Oh my God. <laughs> great. Great. So there's some great lyrics in Tron cat. And in two, I just like how, how nightmare and Tron cat feed into each other really well. But I think Tron cat's my favorite song. Yonkers though is, is really good. She is cool. I wouldn't, it's so different. She is so different from the rest of the songs. Um, in terms of kind of my favorites, you guys did a great job of recommending the strong titles or the strong tracks from the from the album. She, Yonkers, Nightmare, Tron Cat, those four are definitely really strong. I thought the opening track was really strong, Goblin. And it really sets the tone with you know him kind of going through this therapy session, which is also why I liked Golden so much because it seems to wrap up the album and then you find out that all the voices in his head including the therapist is just him which is kind of neat um it made sense because in goblin that opening track so, like the first thing the therapist says is talking about how you don't have the balls to kill yourself which is an odd thing for a therapist to say 
So it makes sense that even that voice is just a voice in his head. Um, yeah, so, so a couple of things. One thing I want to do with this channel too is I want to make it a little bit more interactive, a little bit more participation with you guys. So I love that you're throwing in comments. I'm, I'm going to go back and read some of the comments on um, the last video from Nightmare Tron Cat before I jump into the next song. Um, but I have this idea of I want to give you guys something to listen to also. Like, I'm here to do this musical journey. Um, and maybe if you don't listen to rock very much, maybe you want to join in a little bit of a journey too. And so when I was listening to Radicals, you know, initially I was like, oh, there's not a whole lot to this song. It almost seems more like, uh, what do you call it? Shock rap or, um, what does he call it? Horror core is what he was talking about. I don't, Radicals maybe. I, anyway, Radicals reminds me of a song. It's not really rock. It's more, I guess it's more technically punk, but the band is called Pennywise and the song is called Fuck Authority. So if you like Radicals or, you know, at least kind of interested in that song, this song about kind of raging against an institution that's trying to tell you what you're supposed to think and be happy about it and all that shit and kind of rebelling against it. Fuck Authority by Pennywise. Listen to it. Absolutely have the lyrics in front of you either on a on the video itself or you know a, um, a website that's got it. Great song. <laughs> Great song. It folds right in with Radicals. The, the same kind of theme. Um, and then two... I won't recommend listening to the album because listening to an entire album is a lot of work. But Goblin, the album, reminds me of a very popular rock album um, by Pink Floyd called The Wall. And the whole concept is almost exactly the same in that the character in this album is struggling with the fact that his dad died in the war, his mother is super oppressive and won't let him like live he gets into this rock band he's struggling with fame his wife is cheating on him you know he goes through um actually kind of when he's younger the school system's like kind of grinding and beating him down and all this other shit and the whole concept with the wall is all of these things are bricks in the wall that this character is just building around him to isolate himself from all of this shit that he's just getting so sick and tired of um and so there's a lot of a lot of lyrics of you and you may have even heard this all in all you're just another brick in the wall so that's what he's referring to with with his wife and these women and all, the crazy fans and all this shit and it's a great album because it kind of goes well actually it literally does go full circle in the sense that in the last track of the album the the final kind of lyrics they get cut off at the end and the opening lyrics of the first track are the continuation of that line. So the whole idea is the wall, he kind of builds up this wall, he's going crazy, and then he self-analyzes and realizes he's being too harsh and self-isolating, and, and the album concludes with him tearing down the wall, which then just puts him right back at the beginning. So he's constantly going through this cycle of trying to deal with this shit and isolating himself, but then, no, I can't do this, and anyway. Um, I wrote down some notes. Let's see what I got here. Uh, let's see. Oh, there was a couple of references in Goblin to Bill O'Reilly's daughter. <laughs> and I don't know what that's about, but I can only assume that Bill O'Reilly probably has a problem with Tyler and his lyrics. Oh, poor Bill O'Reilly. Fuck that guy, by the way. So I'm happy to hear Tyler trying to kind of fire back a little bit. Um, Transylvania... Transylvania, I kind of didn't really understand. I, I tried to, I assumed it had something to do with just going crazy and kind of like left brain. He was, he's mentioning left brain, right brain, and, you know, just kind of going nuts. Um, anyway, so I guess we should keep to the same format. Would I listen to it again? I think I would listen to Goblin again. If I do, I'll probably go in and edit my playlist, the, the actual album playlist, because I do this with other um, albums. I have different albums where I cut out filler tracks um, but I think with Goblin I would go through and just cut I'd probably cut her through BSD and then yeah leave it like that have it have it be like 11 tracks I don't know if I'd include the disc 2, disc two stuff and then you got a pretty strong album I think um, yeah 
so thank you, thank you for recommending four great tracks off of a pretty strong album. I enjoyed it, and uh, now I'm going to move on to uh, making another video. Hope I don't know what you guys have recommended. I'm going to read the comments right now, and then we'll see where we go.